Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams P, FM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for exam P on probability. A government employee's yearly dental expense follows a uniform distribution on the interval from 200 to 1200. The government's primary dental plan reimburses an employee for up to 400 of dental expense to incurred in a year, while a supplemental plan pays up to 500 of any remaining dental expense. Let Y represent the yearly benefit paid by the supplemental plan to a government employee. Calculate the variance of Y. And here's a solution. Let us write X for the random annual dental expense for a government employee. Y is that random supplemental uh, coverage payment, and it's equal to zero if the expense X is between 200 and 400, uh, because that's covered by the primary uh, policy. Once the expense exceeds 400, um, the supplemental policy pays up to 500 of additional amount, the amount over 400. So for x between 400 and 900, the payment is x minus 400. But if x exceeds 900 and it's between 900 and 1200, only a payment of 500 is made because that's the maximum that the supplemental policy will pay. So y is equal to what you see here. It's equal to 0 when x is between 200 and 400, x minus 400 when x is between 400 and 900, and it's 500 when x is between 900 and 1200. And we know that the probability density function of x is, um, well, it's the PDF of uniform distribution uh, on the interval from 200 to 1200, so it's a constant, and it's equal to 1 over the length of that interval. So 1 over 1,200 minus 200, which is 1 over 1,000, or 0 0.001, for x between 1,200 and, I'm sorry, 200 and 1,200. And it's 0 otherwise, because the density is only positive on that interval where the density is, uh, where the random variable is uniform. And based on this, the expected value of y is equal to the integral from 200 to 400 of 0 times the density of 0 0.001 dx plus the integral from 400 to 900 of x minus 400 times the density of 0 0.001 dx plus um, the integral from 900 to 1200 of a constant of 500 times the density of 0 0.001 dx. Okay, the first integral, of course, is 0, because it's the integral of 0. The second one, we can calculate it to be 1 half uh, of x minus 400 squared times 0 0.001, which is the same as 0 0.0005 times x minus 400 squared, evaluated from x equal to 400 to x equal to 900, plus 0 0.5 times, uh, 0 0.5 coming from uh, 500 times 1 over 1,000 that constant we can just put in front, and otherwise um, we just uh, take the length of the interval where we're doing uh, the integration uh, times that constant. So it's 0 0.5 times 1200 minus 900. And if you calculate this, this is equal to 275. And the second moment is calculated, well, roughly the same way, except that the values of the random variable are just squared. So it's 0 squared for the first integral, 
x minus 400 squared for the second and 500 squared for the third. And of course the first one is zero. The second one, uh, the integral is uh, one third x minus 400 uh, cubed times 0 0.001 and that's what you see here more or less evaluated from 400 to 900. And the third one, it's still a constant 500 squared times 0 0.001 that uh, is um, equal to 250 times the length of the interval which is 1200 minus 900. And this is approximately 116,666.6666 and forever so roughly 116,666.667. Uh, and the variance is the second moment minus the square of the first moment so it's 116,666.667 um, seven, yes, uh, minus 275 squared is approximately equal to 41,041.67 41 and that's answer C. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to a society of actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the